Hello my dearest beautiful earth angels, how are you doing? So today I will be doing the weekly oracle card reading for the week of October 26, 2015. Okay, so today I will be using the Soul Coaching Oracle deck by Dennis Lin again, the same as last week because I have been guided to use this deck. And of course, I am going to choose three cards again using the Soul Coaching Oracle spread, which is the three card spread. So the first card is to let us know what we need to heal in the week. So this card is popping out. And of course, the second card is how can we heal from this issue? How can we heal from what we need to heal? Mm -hmm. And then, okay, we have the outcome. Great. So let's see. First card we have here is flow. The second card we have here is compassion. And the last card we have here is freedom. Alright, so let me just tune into the energies for this week, October 26th. Okay, October 26th. <sighs> okay, so um, this week is very... I can feel it's very intense. It's like there are a lot, a lot of things going on this week. So bear in mind to actually keep in check uh, of your alignment, your chakra alignment, because some may be overactive, some may be underactive. Okay, and I am feeling um, that you should actually drink more water. Okay, because I feel that my mouth is getting dry, so it's a sign that um, we have to hydrate ourselves in this week. Maybe some of you may be doing some sports this week, and uh, it's got to do with the weather as well, so be mindful. Alright, really hydrate yourself. It's got to be very dry in some parts of the world. Um, and it's going to be hazy here in Singapore, so really, really pay attention to really hydrating your skin, hydrating your body, and soak in a bathtub or a prepare food bath is really helpful, okay, to actually hydrate your skin. And of course, what else am I feeling? Okay. Um... Okay, I am I'm feeling like something coming from the heart. It's it tackles the heart. And the angels are actually uh asking us to be mindful about taking too much too much things in your energetic field okay that's a balance of give and take so really be mindful be conscious again uh really be assertive to um whether you should be giving more or whether you should be uh keeping your energies to yourself so really keep that in check this week okay so let's move on to the card shall we the first card we have here is what we need to heal this week and it is flow and what it states here the glory of the universe flows through me so what we need to heal this week is about resisting so there's something about resistance um there there may be some obstacles some challenges uh there for you and there are some lessons to be learned so really pay attention really go in depth see the bigger picture of things okay okay for uh some of you okay for the writers you have writer's block some there's nothing flowing to your mind and of course um 
for some of you who are doing some creative uh, endeavors it may be some uh, there are some lessons for you to learn before you can truly truly allow uh, that flow okay so this also tells me thank you angels to actually balance your chakras this week okay really do your chakra meditations it's really very crucial and important when there are a lot of things going on in your life this week okay so really stay balanced keep yourself centered really breathe okay breath is your life force energy guys all right so really breathe and breathe and breathe as I've mentioned in my blog, I've just updated it today. Uh, I have um, put out six practices to keep yourself peaceful during the day, okay? So you can have a look at my blog and it's going to help you through this resisting week, all right? So really pay attention, set a morning routine, really um, stay positive all the time, okay? With some affirmations. And of course, breathe. Breath work is really important, okay? So really go ahead to my blog and just check it out, okay? So moving on to the next card we have here is compassion. And it states here, the vibration of compassion shines through my every cell. We had this card last week as well, and it's also in this position. So what it tells me is that we have to just keep going, doing what we did last week. If I'm not wrong, is the outcome, sorry. The outcome. So really um, learn from last week, okay? Really recognize what your body needs, what your soul needs, and really cater to yourself first. Again, the reminder of hydrating yourself this week is very, very important and it's coming in very strongly. So really keep that in mind, okay? I know when you're busy, you will tend to forget this, forget that, and you wouldn't want to eat because there are more important things to do. But the thing is, the first thing you have to do always is to take care of your own body first, all right? And really hydrate yourself. Again, hydration. <laughs> okay, um, be compassionate to yourself, be merciful. If something goes wrong, do not blame yourself, do not criticize yourself. Honestly, when you actually did something wrong, all the more you should get back up, encourage yourself, and motivate yourself to get yourself going again, right? There's no use mopping around and just saying that, you know, uh, everything is not going your way and you're just complaining and you may feel really frustrated you might put yourself in a victimizing position and of course you may blame everything else around you the circumstances the situation the people around you honestly just take a deep breath really pay attention to what is going on in the present moment okay take a moment to just be still be yourself all right really stay calm and if you can't stay calm i'll suggest you to do some visualization sorry some visualization what i normally do is to picture a scene of a calm ocean okay um Usually when you go to the seaside, you just be relaxed automatically. So I bring that into my mind and really process it and feel it within my heart and within my whole being. And it really makes me feel better after that. Okay, you may try this, okay? Or if not, um, I would suggest listening to some classical music to actually calm you down. Um it's really really awesome okay but whatever it is really be compassionate to yourself okay call upon goddess of mercy Guan Yin, um jesus or even mother mary okay 
Uh, they are the most compassionate ascended masters that I've ever encountered. Okay, personally, I do work with um Jesus during healing. Um, and of course, Goddess of Mercy Guan Yin. Whenever I need some mercy in my life okay so really keep that in mind really be merciful to yourself do not be too harsh on yourself okay it's no good being harsh to yourself because where is your love if you're giving love out to somewhere else but you're not giving it yourself it means that you're not filling your cup to actually help others okay you have to be whole yourself first be full in order for you to share some of your love with someone else okay that makes sense right <laughs> okay so the last card which is the outcome card of the week is freedom boundless freedom surges through me oh wow okay and you can see in this picture there's a black horse just zooming past you know it's just riding across the, the field just charging straight ahead okay and this is what I am feeling exactly okay so basically whether it's fear or doubts or resistance you have to just go ahead and do it okay really be compassionate to yourself motivate yourself encourage yourself um inspire yourself even if you get a writer's block um there's no use just sitting there and just going what am i gonna do you know the thing is have fun okay what is your meaning of fun you really dig into that meaning and really if you love reading, you may find some inspiration through reading. You may find inspiration through um, talking to small kids. You may find interesting information through playing with your animals, uh, your pets. You may find some inspiration to just be, you know, meditation and uh, walking in the park, walking in nature alone everything will help you to relax or some of you find exercising relaxing so yeah yoga you know um all this will actually help you to remain centered remain calm and really think out of the box okay really help you to clear your crown chakra and really allow the inspiration to flow through you okay and freedom freedom is all i get this week once you push past your barriers which is also called the limits or your ego you will definitely find yourself um being free of your own cage you know very often people like to victimize themselves really blame others except uh looking within themselves and find out what's wrong um, and this causes our ego to actually come out to defend ourselves which causes a barrier in between us and others and this often causes misunderstandings and miscommunication so basically you just have to break down that barrier through love through compassion okay and really really um, breathe okay this is what I'm hearing and take good care of your health this week hydrate yourself remember and by the end of the week you will feel a sense of freedom you'll feel like something has opened up it's like your heart has suddenly opened up and you have um you have a linking an inkling to why it has opened up but you are just feeling really wonderful okay by the end of the week so really really do this work guys okay it's nothing hard it's just simple stuff that you do all right okay this reading is getting too long and i am going to end here i truly hope that this reading has helped you please feel free to like 
comment or subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you. And of course, please do visit my blog whenever you want because I have been updating regularly these days and I will be doing so as well. Um, and of course, some updates will be... Um, I may be starting school soon. So I wouldn't have the time to actually do some recording of this video. So please do pardon me. And uh, I would just update on my blog, okay? So I really do hope that you'll continue supporting me. And it really means a lot to me that you guys still support me, still subscribe to me, liking my videos. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, guys. I am so grateful for you. <sighs> Alright, so hope you have enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much and I love you. Namaste.